Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, pair of simultaneous equations. Here we have equation 1 and here we have equation 2. Now by trying to you know imagine what the the values will be you know you can guess it right. But then how about the workings, okay? Just hold on and see how I will deal with this. What I will do is that from equation 1, I will make A the subject, right? So A will be equal to 12 minus B, right? And, um, okay. Now, the next thing I will do is to put this value of A into equation 2. Remember, equation 2 is AB to be equal to 32, right? Okay. Now, and our A already is 12 minus B. So this will multiply this B and it will be equal to 32. Now, the next thing is to open this bracket. So we have 12B minus B squared equals 32. Now, let us rearrange this. Minus B squared, right? Plus 12B equals 32 now the next thing i will do is to multiply both sides by negative one to make sure that the first term here is not negative so if i multiply this by negative one then i will have plus b that is b squared then this turns to negative we have 12b and then this is equal to negative 32 because it has to turn to negative now bring everything to the left so we have b squared minus 12b then this becomes plus now plus 32 equals zero and now we have a quadratic equation okay so the next thing is what two numbers do we multiply to have 32 and that we will bring them together to get um to get um, minus 12 right the two numbers will be minus 8 and um, minus 4 because minus 8 minus 4 is minus 12 and minus 8 times minus 4 is plus 32 okay plus 32 here now this means that we can just go ahead so that we will have um okay so we have b minus 8 in one bracket and in the other we have b minus 4 both equal to 0 now let's apply zero product rule that says b is equal to okay b minus 8 is equal to 0 or b minus 4 equals 0 b is equal to 8 or b is equal to 4 therefore we have b to be 8 or 4, right? But then, let's look at this equation that I derived before. In fact, we can call this equation 3, right? From equation 3, we can get the value of a. <clears throat> we can get the value of a. So, let's go back there and impute what we are having. Okay. Okay, first of all, let me write equation 3, which is a equal to 12 minus b i need to write it here a is equal to 12 minus b this is our this is our equation 3 1 2 3 okay now that b is equal to 8 that means a <coughs> a will be equal to 12 minus 8 and it means that a is equal to 4 right Okay, now let's bring these two pair of equations together, um, these two values together, saying that um, a comma b, right? And it's equal to when a is 4, okay, b is actually equal to 8. Okay, so these are two pairs of equation that um, these are two pair of values that will satisfy the given equation now we can also have another pair okay 
Remember, the equation is a equal to 12 minus b, right? Now, if we are looking for a at this point, b is equal to 4. This means that a at this point is going to be equal to, um, okay, b, okay, we have 12 here. Then in place of b now, I'm writing 4. That means we have minus 4. And this means that a is equal to 12 minus 4, and that is what? 8. Now, from here again, we are going to have another pair of values so that, look at it, we have a, comma b, right? a and b, and it will be equal to when a is now 8, guess what b is? b is 4. b is 4. Now, I'm going to tell us why these two values are going to be correct. Okay, so these are the values we got. Okay, we have a comma b to be equal to 4 comma 8, meaning that when a is 4, b is 8, right? And a comma b to be equal to um, 8 comma 4, meaning when a is 8, b here is 4, right? But then, if you change it the way it is, both of them will still work perfectly well because the original equation was a plus b to be equal to 12 and then a b to be equal to 32. Now, if you put a to be 4 and b to be 8, it's going to be 4 plus 8, right? And that will give us 12. Then a is still 4. 4 times b, which is um, 8. 4 times 8 will give us 32. That is perfect, right? But then, if you also decide to work with this, in place of a now, you have 4. And then in place of b, you're going... Sorry, in place of a, you're going to have 8. In place of b, you have 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. Then 8 times 4 will still give us 32. So it does not really matter the arrangement. And why is that? Because multiplication and um, addition obey commutative law. Okay, so this is commutative. Commutative law. Okay, so because addition, which is here, and multiplication, which is here, both of them obey commutative law. It does not matter the arrangement, okay? That's why 4 to 8 or 8 and 4 are both satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching.